they laid for us today. If we got any breakfast. They're usually all piled up in one there around that ladder. This coop needs a big, a really good cleaning again. We usually just clean out the nest boxes in the winter. We don't. We don't clean the whole thing out until it gets warmer. And we scrape it right down. Start over. What you got there? I got that uh, ain't too bad. There we got six. Two blue ones and four brown ones. And that was almost below zero last night, and they still lay in it. And I think it has more to do with the daylight we're getting now. Longer days. Spring is here. It's what, March 20 something? 20. Third, fourth, 26, or something. Well, anyway, we're gonna do some fixing on the barn here. Yeah, Dad's learned how to run the camera today. So. Yeah, so don't expect a miracle. <laughs> I can hardly turn a cell phone on, let alone run this contraption. But so we have a problem in the barn here, and I don't know if you can see that. Where it's broke. Can you point to that here? Yeah, yeah. here. There's two of them broke. Completely the other ones are sagged pretty good. Now this is nothing new in this barn. This has happened before Now you see here They're like doubled up now. They're every two feet ridge. Most of them are two feet. These are like Well, they're every foot And this is where our driveway is up above We'll show you that and then down here You can see kind of different colored beams in here. We had to paint them our state inspector wants to see them white so we added these in maybe like, I don't know, it must be 20 years ago now, because I had oh, big... Oh, it, it was, I remember being like, maybe like 10 when you okay. did that. So <laughs> well, it, it was, was a while ago. Maybe a dozen years ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, we bought big squares, and then I had to drive around up there with the bobcat, so I had to brace things up. See, and then down here, there was a broke one, so we doubled them up, and that's white oak we used. So we reinforced a few things, and... There's a pretty good load up there. It's 28 feet from the floor to the peak, and that's all packed, piled, so. Yeah, but that's that's not anything to be too worried about if a beam's cracked like that, right? There's no. been barns that have been cracked for like... The thing of it is, is okay, so this beam cracked maybe like five years ago, and then every year it's been getting a little worse. Yeah. It's like this winter, one day I was milking and just kind of looking, thinking, oh my God, that's really starting to sag. But we started taking the hay load off by feeding out the hay, so then it it um, got lighter, of course. But yeah, you keep pushing your luck. One day it'll all be down here. Yeah, but that <laughs> this is a good example of how an old barn can last forever if you're using it and you're constantly repairing on it, you know, versus it just sitting there. Even if it was in brand new condition when you stopped using it, if you just never touch it for you know, right. 50 years, then you won't catch stuff that's falling apart right. or a spot that's leaking and starting to rot a board. And Well, see, that's the thing, uh, like uh, a, a leak in the roof alone and it rots the beaming. And then when we had those heavy snow loads, it's, let's say we had like five, six years without heavy snow. And then all of a sudden you get that one year extra heavy and then you hear about all these buildings collapsing. Well, there was weak spots in those buildings and and just like a rotted tree, the first big windstorm, it will knock it over. I think we should measure this. We're going to do the walk area, so you get maybe, maybe four inches past the beam there. Yeah, we can be probably, oh heck, we can be 13.6 to be on the safe side. We can always turn them. Let's check the end. We might have to put a few on the end there, so go Okay, we got to see if we can show these guys how we did this. Come on down here. So we cut the corner off the end of the beam. So when you shove the one side up, it's kind of at a, like it's a little bit more pointed. So it can slip in there. And we also put a jack in the middle, maybe two jacks with posts to get everything raised up so it's straight. Cause the ceiling is sagged a little, even though it doesn't look terrible, it, it is sagged. To get everything straight, and then we might use the help of the skid steer and maybe a couple strong boys that can get it up. Then someone on the opposite end with a sledgehammer tapping it in, and it goes in pretty quick. There's no nails or nothing. It's just the idea that's up there for more support. These this main beam. I mean, that's really kind of the heart of the whole 
the whole thing here. And see like here, you see where it's split here? This barn was set up all different when it was built. The stalls were in different shapes. They had horses, they had pens in here. There was all kinds of... So originally there was a post right on that splice, which they readjusted. And then I did some adjusting too. I think I had three stalls between every post. And then I made it so there was only two stalls between every post. I don't know if you remember, you don't remember none of that. No, no. I don't. But anyway, we changed it a little bit. Okay, now this is our driveway. I did, I did a lot of work on this barn when I came here. There's one thing that really was appealing. That this barn, you know, the framing was pretty straight. I poured this slab, you know, here. And then uh, th these boards in here were kind of rotted away. And I replaced all that. But I can drive right in here. I don't know if you remember that. He used to drive that M right in here. Yep, I remember <laughs> Like a, the smaller tractors. Got to be a little careful that we stay in the center with the heavy stuff. Yeah, or you'd park the Oliver in here, you know, if it's yeah. during the winter and or I something. I had a trailer I backed in where we load off of and we'd store it in here or something. Yeah, so you've been, this bin's been full for how long? <laughs> Since 2000. Yeah, so you've been cleaning this out over the past year or so. Yeah. In preparation to do all them boards and just jack it up nice and put those extra beams in to oh, yeah. support it. Right, right. So that's the thing. Before we fill it again, we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna fix that. No, this hay here is is older than this guy. Yeah. And you know what the the cool thing of it is? It still feeds cattle. And you go look at the, the condition of those cattle down there. They've been getting mostly this now now towards spring and they look great. You can't tell me it ain't uh, they don't have any feed valve. It loses some but the best place for any dry hay is right here on a wood floor, off the ground. It's vented. And some people will put the steel on the side of their barns to dress up their barns, which is good. But then you lose all your ventilation and stuff. We replaced it with oak boards. So we still keep it original. And it's more like a kind of a corn crib effect where it dries. I think she's pissed off because she thinks we're like, I don't know. You stare at her long enough, she thinks she's going to end up in a frying pan. I think she's... Somebody must be planning to move hay, huh? No, I think he was, they got drive the tractor to school tomorrow. Oh. FFA. Oh, they got the tractor drive. Yeah. I suppose it's spring. So. And it's going to be, they already canceled it twice because it was raining pretty good two days there. So it got canceled, then canceled again. And now, then they said Monday, and now Monday's supposed to be cold, bl blustery in the morning. So yeah. it's going to be coveralls and... They're gonna be driving in with bomber hats on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but there's the M or something's outside running MTA. around. MTA. So, yeah. yeah. So what's your plan here? You bought the wash, the tractor, yeah. Yeah, and what, what for? Drive your tractor to school days tomorrow. Yeah? Is that gonna be a nice ride or is it gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be a little chilly. A little bit chilly. <laughs> you know, we could put the heat hauser on this. That would to. that would be an original, huh? We, this tractor, I got that canvas cab. It sounds like him and his cousins are all going to meet here with their tractors and they're going to drive them to school together. Yeah, hopefully them narrow front tractors that are four times your age. <laughs> Somebody asked what Jackie means on this tractor. That my dad named this tractor Jackie. I think they had a horse named Jackie and they said giddy up Jackie and it ended up getting passed down to the tractor that replaced the horse. Yeah, so Mason's finishing up, uh, rinsing off that tractor. We're down here with them logs that we dragged back um, with the winch. I'll link that video up above if you didn't see that. A bunch of these will be sawed into uh, beams for in the barn, and then a couple of them will be uh, 
planks that will get used on other projects and we're also going to use some of them for uh, seating for an event we'll have out here this uh, fall. We got some more up in the woods too. Let's see what we get out of these. And, yeah. yeah, I think they're what? They're four by sixes, ain't they? I think that's what them are there. I might yeah. have to check those to be sure. They could be five and three quarter. He's going to cut them to length right away before we haul them over to, to get them sawed this spring. Where we're going, they don't have phones. The Amish. So you just show up. And then uh, I know these guys pretty well. I've been there. I saw the thumb guys probably 25 different times. But yeah, we'll have to go take a ride over there first to see if they, if the mill's even there. Sometimes they send it over to a neighbor or something too. But yep, we gotta get them sawed before we make hay. That's any time between them. Just looking at the sawdust, you, I already know it's probably pretty good through. The color is just consistent all the way. Sometimes you get like a little black sawdust to come out, then you know you got a bad spot. In there. That's if you're looking for it. and that dulls the saw right away you never want to the worst thing you can do is drag your logs through gravel and then let it freeze on and then try cut them it'll be done right off here yeah, that might only interfere in one or two pieces Drive your tractor to school day. Here we got my nephew. We got a real nice super FPA. Oliver, 1967 Oliver, I believe. I tell these boys you better be warm. Then we got our super MPA with a heat hoser on it. And my son, that's the first time he had to put that on without dad 
around, but I was surprised he dug it out. He really cleaned it up nice. But anyhow, he's gonna be glad that's on there because it's awful cold this morning. Then he's got a whole group of his friends here that, and they're gonna ride in with him and it's probably about four miles, almost five miles to the school. That's a nice tractor there my nephew's got. That one is not worn out. 